The person you see right here is the one to whom three secrets were given and she disclosed the first two secrets decades before. But no matter what, she didn't reveal the third secret, as she wasn't sure whether God willed the third secret or not. But later on she wrote it in a secret letter. What is the third secret? Where is the letter? And what does it reveal that's so shocking? Before we discover the third secret, imagine what it could be. What comes to your mind when you think about the third wish? Let's see whether your answer will be the same as what Sister Lucia wrote. When the bishop asked Sister Lucia to reveal the wishes, she revealed only two and kept the third one a secret. When the health condition of the sister deteriorated, she had no other option but to reveal the third secret. The bishop asked her again to reveal the third secret and she obeyed him. She wrote the third secret on a piece of paper and sealed it. The third secret was in the envelope. It shouldn't be opened and revealed information to everyone until 1960. The revelation didn't gain much attention till the 2000s. The third secret was supposedly revealed by the Vatican, stating that the Holy Father and his group were shot down by a group of soldiers. They shot them down when they reached the top of the mountain, but something's weird here. Is this really the third secret? If the third secret was really revealed by the Vatican, then where is this letter? What is the real third secret? Well, many believe that it is the third secret, but critics said that what was revealed was not the third secret. They believe that something else was the third secret. What was revealed cannot be a complete wish. There were many reasons for them to believe so. Sister Lucia wrote the letter on a single sheet of paper, but the third secret wished revealed by the Vatican was four pages. There was one other confusion as Father Joaquin revealed to them, Lucia said that she wrote the third secret on a sheet of paper. A sheet of paper cannot be three or four sheets of paper revealed by the Vatican. Before you know about the third secret, you should also know who Sister Lucia is. Lucia Ababora was born in Portugal where she was raised like any other shepherd girl, but fate had another story planned for Lucia. Later she was known as a nun, a blessed nun. She started seeing visions. People were amazed at this unique blessing of hers. She even saw Virgin Mary in one of her visions. She saw six visions and among these visions, she saw two while she was with her cousins. All of them were sound asleep at night and she started getting glimpses of visions. Francisco and Jacinta Marto were the two cousins who were with Lucia at the time. Both of them didn't have any visions, but they didn't know that their cousin was having visions while sleeping next to them. As people got to know about the visions and the girl, they started gathering around to see her. It reached a point where more than 70,000 people came as observers to have a glimpse of her. Lady of the Rosary was how the Virgin Mary introduced her to the kids. Lucia never revealed the identity of the lady, instead, she waited for the right time. She faced a lot of pressure to disclose the identity of the lady, but she stood on her ground the lady wanted a chapel to be built. During this time, a solar phenomenon took place. Many witnesses saw this event. They were terrified and couldn't believe their eyes. They said that the sun fell. They felt that it fell towards the earth. It was this event that acted as a turning point in their life of Lucia as it was at this time that decided to reveal the identity of the lady. She conveyed everything the lady wanted to say that there should be a chapel built for her which was the wish of the lady. Lucia was not given many years to live. She had only a short time to live on earth and with this limited age, she served her purpose. Every human being has a purpose on earth. Well, at least some believe so. Lucia fulfilled her purpose beautifully. The Roman Catholic Church called up Lucia and her cousins to the church and used to question them regarding the vision Lucia was getting. They wanted to know more about it. Their curious minds couldn't hold themselves in. Instead, they wanted to know whether Lucia was telling the truth. Did she really have visions? Only a few doubted her. Others believed her blindly as they felt what the girl was saying was right. It was in 1992, a formal interview from the Roman Catholic Church commenced. The secrets of Fatima were unknown to the public. It was in the mind of Lucia and she revealed the third secret after a prolonged time. Let's take a look at the first two visions and then look into the third vision which was highly secretive. The first vision and the second vision have a connection, as both of these visions seem similar and it's about war. The vision of hell was the name given to the first one and the second was similar yet different. The second vision talks about the end of work but there will be a second world war. It will also result in a rise of communism followed up by its fall as well. It was on the day of the beatification ceremony that Lucia revealed the third secret. 
people started interpreting the three secrets. The third secret was interpreted as the assassination of Pope John Paul II. The message of the third secret was interpreted by the Vatican. Everyone knows Mary is the mother of Jesus Christ through biblical books. Her shrine is installed in most places where miraculous events occur. When we take a look at the Bible, we can see that Mary's name has been mentioned several times over and over again. Let's read out a few verses in the Bible where Mary is mentioned. Apostle chapter 1 verse 14 These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Matthew chapter 28 verse 1 In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. Luke chapter 1 verse 39 And Mary arose in those days, and went into the hill country with haste, into the city of Judah. The third secret was interpreted by the Vatican only after the revelation made by Lucia through the letter. Everyone became curious to know that as no one knew the third secret, the first two secrets are now off the picture, as was revealed earlier. There was a person who read the third secret. He knows what the letter says. He said that the great approach will begin. There was a declaration made which states that the third secret, no mention of atomic bombs or warfare were found. The Vatican Ecumenical Council was attended by Reverend Dr. Gamore. It was held in 1962. During this council, he was lucky enough to see the third wish, well, a copy of the third secret. It was shown to him. It happens to not talk about atomic bombs, but it was about the fall of the Catholic Church. The third secret of Fatima was the fall of the religious establishment. The moral and spiritual collapse of the institution will happen. This prediction was written in the letter decades before. Is this the same as what you thought at the beginning of this video? Cardinal Silvio Odi explained his perspective on the third secret of Fatima. He had certain worries and he was ready to explain it in detail. Certain events happened in 1960, such as the Second Vatican Council took place. He believed that the secret would be in connection with the Vatican, especially the Second Council. He also believes that the secret will have a certain part to it, or it cannot be accepted by other people. Something not pleasant. During this period, many priests let go of priesthood. A rough estimate would be around 80,000 priests to let go of priesthood in total. Many believe that this was the doom of the church as Satan made his way. Priests were not happy with what had happened and they wanted to revive the might of the church. The revolution of the Catholic Church was the third secret and not about anything else. It does not talk about any subject matter other than the church. An internal revolution was to be constituted. The reformation of the church was a notable event that took place in 1960, along with the creation of the Vatican II Council. What do you think of the third secret? Did you expect this third secret or did you expect anything else? Let us know in the comments below.